That is just kind of like mold and pus. Welcome back to the crazy workshop. Don't worry, you're not gonna get rid of me that easily. I'm still gonna be the craziest waffler you've ever tuned into. So before we start our crazy weird project today, I just wanna give you a quick update. Don't worry, it's only a little one. But it seems like you don't mind me waffling anyway, but I like to cater for everyone I can. So, um, and I have had a few requests for, you know, videos without music over the months, you know, not just recently, you know, without music, without me talking so much. But what I thought I would do is try to incorporate both. So you will see every now and again, a video that will be cut down, shortened version of some of my other projects. I certainly won't be changing my channel. <laughs> I'm still gonna be waffling on, still gonna be talking to you about the things that we make, and the craziness like this. I'll always put the main project up and then a couple of weeks later, I'll stick up like a shortened version of it. Just for those that might wanna see a, just a quick bang, snip, woohoo, without any waffling and without any music. Maybe I could add the music, who knows? But what I am gonna do is I am gonna eventually move all of those types of videos onto another channel which I've got, which I did start to do my restorations, but I haven't put one up since I opened it. Um, and I know a few of you have gone over there and subscribed to it, so I appreciate that, thank you. Um, but I've changed it now, if you go and look at it, it's now Nick Zametti Unwaffled. And it just would be just projects that are cut down, no music, no waffle. That's it really. I know a lot of you will be like, I'm not interested in that, I'm staying here. And I love that and I really appreciate it. But for those of you that would like to go and subscribe to the other channel, just because it's, just because there is no waffling and no music, please do, because I will be starting to add videos to that as time goes on. But initially I'll put them on here first and we'll fizzle that out and we'll go over to the other channel. So this one will just stay waffled. Well, I'm certainly glad that we cleared that up. So a lot of you asked, what happened to the daisies? That's what happened. <laughs> so I thought today we would see what we could make from these daisies. Obviously, um, I now know kind of from all the comments from the last project that I did, the flower project, um, that obviously I didn't dry the flowers. Now, I don't do a lot of research on stuff before I kind of do stuff, I just do it. And obviously with all the comments that you guys left me, turns out, I need to dry the flowers. Um, so I am gonna do another project um, in a few weeks time of the flowers again. Um, I'm gonna try and dry them out um, and see if we can create something really cool. So let's just see what we can make of these really weird, oh, smelly, very smelly daisies. This is quite cool, look. You can see the daisies in there, the little, the, the middle bits of the daisies. They're quite hard, I think, but it's got a few little holes in it, but actually looks quite cool. 
quite like that actually even though it was a bit of a disaster but actually like the other one this, that turned out quite well i think but um yeah i think we'll make it in make it into like a little tiny pot i think see if we can get a lid on it and stuff make it into a really nice sweet kind of little lidded pot if we can i'm going to take it off now and put it into the chuck just made my um my tenon on there so uh that'll make it more secure in there and yeah happy days let's do this magnum Now, for a bit of Yorkshire. Oh, don't ask smell nice, this Yorkshire. Oh, nice! That's gonna look really, really funky. Yeah.
the daisy pod. Well, I had to do this one, folks. Loads of you asked kind of like what had happened to that one. And there it is. Um, actually turned out okay. I kind of like it. It's a little bit dreary for me, I think. It's not obviously very colourful. Um, but it's got some really cool sort of patterns in it, which is quite, quite cool. Oh, it smells really really bad um you obviously can't smell it like you know unless you get really close to it but it really does smell of just mold just feisty moldness it's kind of a little cool little pot i don't know what you could put in it um it's got some really cool features got my emblem on there on the bottom um and i think it turned out all right it's a little bit looser than i would have kind of liked you have to excuse me i've just been out in the rain it's absolutely pouring down today. I was literally out in my shorts yesterday, no top, <laughs> wandering around in the garden. Today, I'm like hat, gloves, scarf, and umbrella. So there it is, folks. I um, hope you like this one. It's a little bit of a strange one. It was the experiment that we did with the flowers. If you didn't see that one, uh, go back. I think last week, we did mixed up loads of flowers in two different pots. It was originally going to be just daisies. And then I took all the daisies out, put them into another pot. And then we ended up doing some crazy weird stuff with the other flowers, which kind of didn't turn out as expected, but all right. And then I left this one uh, to the side. So I thought I'd get on and do this one because everyone's asking what happened to the daisy one? What happened to that? Well, there we go. <laughs> Um, so I know what to do next time and I will be drying out the flowers and I'm hoping that we can come up with some really cool effects. Thanks for all your lovely comments on my last video that I put up with no waffle. I uh, really appreciate it. And again, like I said at the beginning, I won't be stopped. I won't be stopped. <coughs> I won't be stopping. I won't be stopping unwaffling. <laughs> there is an unwaffle channel now if you want to go and subscribe there if you fancy that. Or you could just stay here. But you will see some random videos popping up with no sound and no waffling just for those people that like that stuff thanks to all of you that checked out my new tv appearance show that i was in the other day on channel four that was really pretty cool um i was pretty nervous as to how that was going to turn out but i think it turned out pretty well really you know that's the concept of the show and they do and we hope that they're going to bring back more uh series so um look out for that if you did miss the show it's called mend it for money it's still on catch up at the moment if you want to go and catch up um and you can watch it from the states you just need a vpn um dial up the vpn and then go to the channel 4 website and you can stream it happy days <laughs> it was a great show so thanks to channel 4, 4, 4, 4 and everyone that filmed it it was pretty cool doing it and i really enjoyed it and i think the all win turned out pretty neat <laughs> Please check me out on Instagram. I always put up pictures and little snippets, videos. If you don't follow me on there, please head on over to Instagram. Check it out. Please check out all the links below, guys, where I get my resin from, my Twitter account, Facebook, my other YouTube channels. Come and follow me everywhere. <laughs> you don't want to miss a thing, right? No, exactly. Don't forget to check out my little boy's channel, Charlie the Maker. He's making some really cool things as well. And any support you guys can give him will be amazing. Thanks to all my Patreons for supporting me as well. You are also amazing. <laughs> that just leads me to say welcome to all my new subscribers to the channel. And thanks to all my old ones for sticking around. Have a fab weekend, guys. Stay safe. Take care. And I'll see you really soon with some weird... Strange, funky stuff. I'm sorry, I can't understand a word that you're saying. Oh, yes, baby. <laughs> Ta-ta.